Hey guys, it's me here. <clears throat> Sorry again for annoying you with this annoying random video that I'm gonna make random random random. Anyway, this is me doing another much showcase again for the fifth time. I'm not sure how many times this is, so don't quote me on that. Uh anyway. Today I'm gonna be showing off the gems and stuff mod why am I lagging so bad? Alright, today I'll be showing off the gem and stuff mod, which is basically more gems and stuff mods, which basically adds in a whole lot of stuff to Minecraft. Gem wise, material wise, there's a whole the whole the gems are right here actually, so you can just see all these gems and stuff. You're probably wondering what each of these things do, and that's what I'm going to go over today in this video. This is a ruby. This is the main thing you need to do is find a gem, which is this ruby, which is shown by uh. This ruby right here. Anyway, what you need to do, what you need to realize is that, well, blah, blah, blah. you combine this with a stone pickaxe. Stone, anything that greater, anything stone and greater. I'm not sure about wood though. Um, what you get with this, you can make um, ruby block, which is over there. Um, ruby brick over there. Um, you can also make some ruby glass with uh, this recipe. It requires steel ingots. To get steel ingot, which is something I'll go into further detail, but for now I'll just tell you a quick summary. It's just refine, melt steel, melt iron, and you get steel ingot. It has twice the durability of uh, of iron, so I would recommend you do it. It's a pretty good deal. Um, to make that glass and to make the lamp, which is right here powering us. See that? To make the lamp, you would need um, two bronze ingots, which are made by guess what this thing is. It adds tin back into Minecraft. Tin and copper. I hate a tin and copper in uh, Tech It. They're the most, like, ugh! Too common, too common. And also here you need to, you're probably wondering what this gem cuts for. It's to make this, cut rubies. Which you can use to place, uh, place, uh, it's just a placeable ruby, I guess. You can mine that with a stone pig X, but, yeah. Also, you can walk through it. Wazoom. 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 I don't know why you can do that. I would think it would be solid, not transparent like a golf. <laughs> anyway, um, also this mod adds in, I don't know why, but adds in spikes. Now let me just quickly grab a piggle from somewhere. Yeah. Um, the pig. Go on to the spikes. As you can see, it hurts him. I think it's only creative only, but uh, yeah. It also destroys items. So if I throw this pig spawner, it's gonna go away. Anyway. Um, I want to show off uh, some of the stuff that adds in, such as the swords, armor. You can make obsidian stuff again. Hooray! Obsidian tools. Uh, you get it by smelt you smelting obsidian twice. You get obsidian, smelt it, and you get obsidian. Melt it. You smelt that, and you get obsidian bar. And that bar you can use as an ingot to make all sorts of shapes and sizes and stuff. Now, you're probably wondering, what's that sword over there? If you are, then you, sir, are a very curious person, deserve to go die in a fire. Just kidding. Anyway, this is the legendary gem, which is made by finding every single type of gem once, maybe twice, maybe three times, depending on if you want a full set and some weapons. And you smelt it to get seven legendary ingots. The ingots can be used to make armor, swords, and stuff like that. You know, basic tool stuff. I believe it has the same enchantability and strength as a uh, diamond. Now, another thing I want to go over today was the weird stuff I found in the mobile bikes mod thing. It's not weird, it's just awesomely funny. Um and a bug I wanted to report. One of the bugs I wanted to report was the bat bike. Um, when I tried to make it using the... oops, wrong one. When I used using the recipe, it didn't work. See, look, when I click the potion night vision, it only shows that. Uh, look, when I click it, it doesn't only shows that. Now, if I go find the actual potion visibility, which is, uh... potion night vision, I mean, it's right here, but it doesn't show any recipes you can use for it. At eight minutes, so, um... I don't know if that's a glitch, a bug, or whatever, but when you get on this guy, hold on, you have the ability to see into the night, which makes sense. It makes perfect sense. And each of these guys, you can summon 18, 17 guys. If they die, 17 lives of the animals, and blah, blah, blah. This next guy, you're going to need a pickaxe to use, but he's really awesome. Um, he mines through things faster than most other people. He can mine through. I, here's a bug I would like to report as well. Okay. This little silverfish guy, let me just show you actually, uh, here's the bug I want to show you. Now this steel pickaxe can't mine through obsidian, I, I don't think we have at least. Hey, get back here. 
But if you hold a pickaxe in your hand and you want to walk up to obsidian, it mines it instantly. Now I think that's a bug, but uh, it just does it like that. That's what's weird to me. It just mines through anything. Like, see, look, even mine through that. See the lamp, the glass, the that ruby. It mines through anything. Um, you can also press shift to dig down. But um, that's all I wanted to talk about today. This weird little bug with this silverfish. At least for silverfish, at least. Goodbye. Uh, another thing, the Easter Bunny. Now, to make these guys, silverfish is with stone. Chocobo with a golden carrot. That doesn't make any sense, but whatever. And Easter Bunny with eggs. That is stupid. I don't even know what this guy does. Does he just hop? Do you have a special ability? You throw Easter eggs at people? What do you do? What do you do? He doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, I should leave it with a bunny, though. Happy bunny, happy bunny. Anyway. Um, one of the other things I found out was the Chocobo. This Chocobo glitched a lot. See, look. It makes invisible ones sometimes, but it makes textured ones some other times. And when you ride him, he plays a Final Fantasy song. Let see how many minutes I have left. I have a lot of minutes, actually. I went through this a little faster than last time. Derp. And I said last time because I recorded this several times. Um, because my man the cam never catches my sound. Blah. It's annoying. But now I know it's catching my sound because I have like 20 FPS. When before, I wouldn't do that much. Blah. Anyway, guys, this show, this was just all the stuff I wanted to show you for now, though. Um, one other thing I found weird was, uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I would like to report a bug with the, the, I did, excuse me. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, one other thing. Now I remember what I was going to do. Uh, I'm going to fail at life. Um, this right here is a sword pedestal. Forget you. Now you're probably wondering, what does this do? You click this, you get Ocarina of Time, you're Legend of Zelda. Do, 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 whatever. You right click it, you place your sword. You right click it, you get it back. You shift right click and you have some options, such as enchantment fix, the light beam, the light beam, I'll show you right now. Woohoo, I'm a force. Um, more light beam options over here, right here. This is just for speed, I'll tell you what that is for in a few seconds. You can make it a uh, teal. You can also change the opacity of it by moving this thing up and down. So, yeah, it's near invisible. Or it could be as solid as a brick. Yeah, see? It's really laggy when I do that. Uh, or it could be good as gone. Anyway. Another thing is that you can, uh, the floating. That's what I want to show you. The floating. Now, if I do this and click floating, it will be floating and spinning around like an awesome boss. You can increase the speed by using this thing. Woohoo! It's spinning! That's it! Goodbye. Anyway. Um. What the? Where does egg come from? Does the Easter Bunny thing drop eggs? Are you kidding me? Wow. It probably does. Because I didn't spawn no chicken or anything. And chicken can't spawn without grass. Curious. Anyway. Um, that's all about it for now, guys. If you're wondering what these structures are, this is the Ruins mod. I decided to go a bit into detail about this before my uh, time is up, which I have about a minute, so let's just go quickly into detail. Uh, this is Atomic Striker's one. This thing kills my computer. This I hate you, Atomic Striker. Nah, I don't, but uh, seriously, why? He, he trapped it. And here comes the back. In three, two, one, ignition. God, what? Why do you hate me? But, uh, yeah, see, all that. Ah. FPS I just might be near it, wow. Uh, anyway, guys, this is all I want to say for now. If you like the commentary, be sure to subscribe. Um, if you guys like how I do random stuff, it's just me being random, 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 random. If you want to play with me on any servers, be sure to let me know. Um, and this is a Creeper Colossus just for random fun. Random stuff. Alright guys, I'll see you later and have fun and um if you want to see another mod just be sure to let me know.